Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for October 19th, 2020. Well, my goodness, passing over that midpoint of October, we had a nice little reminder here in my neck of the woods that winter is on the way. Sunday, we had snow on the ground, and um, it never warmed up enough to melt it off during the day so winter is coming this way and we have a market that is absolutely on fire this morning we struggled around last week with a lot of back and forth a lot of sensitivity to news and i suspect with the events over the weekend we're going to continue that pattern today so what does that mean for this morning's setup well how about we settle in buckle up and get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning, everyone, we have a market all kinds of fired up. We see those futures pushing higher this morning. Uh, they have been up more than 200 points, have uh, just recently pulled back to be just below a 200 point expected gap up in the Dow. We'll see how that continues to manifest over the morning. Let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and see what we can glean from this. Let's notice that if we were to be honest and draw a line right down across here, we are dealing with a bit of a downtrend resistance here on the Dow. This pattern right here was not exactly on Friday that warm and fuzzy that we would like to see in the market. Although this morning we're seeing that bullishness and that willingness to gap up here uh, this morning on hopes of a stimulus deal, we still have that um, uncertainty as we re -emer or push back up toward that price resistance here in the Dow. Watch that closely. Be careful for that possibility of a pop and drop. And that means we gap up and then find sellers um, after that fact pushing us back down. I don't know if that's going to be the case. We will have to watch for that closely and that does increase potential danger of the market open. Let's also keep in mind that we're trying hard here. We broke a little bit of an uptrend and you can see we had that uptrend in way. We actually tested that resistance level up here in that chart. So technically we're just in that kind of uncertain zone, that little questionable place, whether or not we will be able to move through. And that's kind of understandable. Um, Speaker Pelosi gave the White House a 48 hour deadline to finish up negotiations for a stimulus deal if they wanna have hopes of it being passed prior to election. Now, um, President Trump has never been one of those people that responds well to a line drawn in the sand. So it's going to be interesting to see where um, where this might go. And just keep in mind, as we continue to, this wild-eyed speculation that we're going to get this stimulus, should they fail, watch for that potential of big intraday whipsaws, uh, substantial whipsaws, and then that possibility of full-on reversal should they fail. Now, if they get it done, also keep in mind that we may have already priced in the possibility of that deal. And if we've priced it in, it could be a buy the rumor, sell the news event. So we'll want to think about that as well as we approach these all-time highs in the market. And we really continue to price these companies to perfection and beyond um, right now in this speculation for more debt spending. Let's take a look at our moving averages. Our moving averages are certainly all in that positive zone. We need to get the shorter terms to cross over, but we can see that 34 EMA and the 20 EMA trying to cross back up over the 50 day. That would be a nice sign because that would provide a little bit of price support should those sellers come in and attack we may have a little price support right in that area with that combined moving average and price action in there as well. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the SPY here quickly. Very much the same situation here in the SPY. Not exactly that warm and fuzzy um, ending on Friday that we would like to see. And we have that possibility that this could be that lower high 
forming in the market. It's also certainly possible after this rally up, we could just settle back in here and consolidate a little bit as we wait on some news of a stimulus. The, the speculation on this is pretty darn amazing and the willingness to just chase and chase and chase in this market truly reminds me of 1999 when we pushed those markets just beyond um, uh, common sense evaluations and that ended up creating some, some some substantial pain so be careful should that news kind of turn against us here we could see some really fast selling come into play let's take a look at the cues now the nasdaq being the strongest of the bunch or has been most of the year put in probably the most bearish of patterns of the indexes on friday noticing that dark cloud cover type pattern in here and you can see um, holding into that possible downtrend this morning's rally great to see us perking back up but let's watch that carefully should those tech stocks start to show a little bit of stress and continue to sell off as they did on friday we we'll want to watch that carefully and watch for that possibility of support. This is all, everything is being pushed up in the hopes, the dreams, I guess, of more deficit spending. Um, pushing $27 trillion in debt, and we could easily see um, close to $30 trillion by the end of this year if we add another tr $2 trillion deal onto um onto the stimulus spending. So keep a close eye on that. It's, it's hard to know exactly how um, we will continue to respond in the speculation of this stimulus. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM finished the week the strongest and probably the most impressive of the indexes. Pushed up really nicely here last um, Wednesday when we, we had gapped down and then uh, pushed all the way back up a um, little bit of selling here on Friday and you can see this morning it's looking a little bit flat right now and we're pushing against some price resistance levels if I take this line and just shift that right up there notice that we're pushing against the lows of these price resistance levels right in here pushing against those levels. So IWM is trying really hard to get back into the game. And one of the big things that we're gonna to have to watch on that for that to occur is to keep a close eye on those financials. If financials continue to show signs of recovery, that should help. We really need to show that, that energy sector starting to recover as well uh, recover as well to gain a lot of ground in here in IWM, but let's keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at um, the VIX. The VIX has just been one of those interesting things here this year. Um, I've never quite seen it in my entire history of trading react the way it has. Fear remains substantial in this market, but not so substantial that we can't push markets to new highs. Um, I've said this before, I'm going to keep saying this. I have never seen new market highs when we're holding a VIX this high. Um, it's truly, truly remarkable to see that. It's just wild eyed speculation pushing the markets up. And if you can look, we continue to hold onto that 50 day moving average, we're kind of bounded by that 50 day as support, holding above a 26 handle at the close of Friday. That should pull back with this morning gap up, but let's watch for that carefully. Um, and then we just, we haven't been able to break um, and hold above that 200 day moving average on fear at all in the market as well. So we continue to just range in here as we push these markets back up toward resistance high and potential of all time high breakouts on the way. Let's take a look at our T2122 indicator. This is the one that gives me the most concern. And as you can see, we pushed back up here on Friday and then at the end of the day pulled back. We had pushed this back up into this area and then pulled back by the end of the day as those sellers came in. And let's notice that this morning's gap up is likely to to gap us right up into this area here, um, right back into that bearish um, reversal zone, that potential up here. Now keep in mind, we're gonna be very, very sensitive to market news. We get market news that says a deal is working out, that it's coming through, that Speaker Pelosi and Munchen actually come up with some kind of an agreement. Market could surge. Um, 
But just keep an eye on that. Should they fail or if that Washington spin machine continues to churn out stuff saying like, well, even if they do come up with a $2 trillion deal, the Senate's not going to pass it. Um, then we could see um, that quick reversal coming into play. So watch that closely. It could be kind of a volatile week with a lot of back and forth here in the market. And as we remain up here, we always want to be watching for that possibility of that potential sell wave to come into play. And it could be substantial depending on how that news comes out. So watch that close. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And we do have a few things on that economic calendar this morning that we wanna pay attention to, but it's not substantial this week. And let's take a look here. As you can see, we've got uh, Jerome Powell speaking this morning. I doubt we learn anything new from Mr. Powell this morning, but we'll always want to be paying attention to him as he's speaking. And um, he can certainly move the market. Notice we also have the housing market index that we'll want to pay attention to here um, at 10 a.m. Eastern, and we're going to follow that up with another Fed speaker here later on this morning. Keep in mind, we don't have big events, too many big events this week. Um, housing starts and permits, petroleum status. This will probably be the, the gotcha that could be a problem for us as those jo jobless numbers are starting to uh, move back up and coronavirus continues to surge here around the country. So watch that close. And then existing home sales and PMI composite will kind of round out the week this week. So not a major economic calendar, which is probably good because we're going to be ramping up on earnings. And as you know, those earnings can create quite a little bit of volatility volatility in the market. And we have about 20 companies reporting um, today. So how about we take a look at a few of those and just keep in mind, um, everyone, if, whoops, if um, you want to get a full list of the potential companies that may be notable for today, jump over to the morning blog. You'll find a link right underneath the title of the video. There'll be a link that'll take you over to the morning blog. Let's take a look at some of the big ones that could move us around this morning. Halliburton will be reporting today, and it looks like Halliburton is indicating just a tiny little bit lower here, Probably not a huge surprise, just considering all of the um, issues uh, facing that oil industry right now. Uh, there was an INF report, um, IN, IMF report um, this weekend suggesting that the Middle East um, could see some troubling times just simply because of the depre depressed oil prices and their expectation that oil will remain in the $40 to $50 range for the next year as that demand uh, for crude continues to be diminished due to coronavirus. So kind of an interesting situation. We'll want to keep an eye on oil sector stocks as they report. Another report we'll want to keep an eye on today is IBM. And you can see IBM perking up here today. I'm showing a little sign of bullishness here this morning. Let's watch this carefully. IBM, one of our bigger techs reporting today. And as you can see, this has been working this downtrend here. Notice that we've jumped above that downtrend and then we pulled back holding it as support. I think there might be something brewing in here that we might be seeing some institutional pickup here on IBM. Now this has been an ugly, ugly chart for a long, long time, but starting to base out and turn around. There may be some opportunity here, so keep a close eye on that. Um, we will also see um, a report from PPG today. Um, keep an eye on that. Chemicals have been really, really strong this year. Beautiful upside trend. Let's make note that we're testing an area up here of a breakout, trying to hold that as support. That earnings report could be very important as we move through today. So watch that closely. 
And the last one I'm going to mention this morning, Z-I-O-N, Zion Financial. Keep an eye on this. This is going to be critical anytime we get these big banks or regional banks reporting. Can have a chance of moving the market around. You can see this is trying to defeat a little bit of a downtrend, holding it as support. But we still got significant resistance here that the chart needs to deal with. So watch that closely as we're kind of locked in a range here as that potentially reports um, could be good could show us um, more selling so watch that carefully let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And hopefully guys, if this is the first time you've seen it, you see that these videos are a little bit different than you might find other places in social media where we've got folks trying to predict where the market market goes and lots of hype and lots of all kinds of speculation. What I want to do in these videos is really take a look at the, uh, uh, the price action, the indicators of the chart without that hyper speculation and really try to focus in on how I want to approach the market for today. If you guys find that helpful, please click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. And also please feel free and thank you to everyone who does do this, shares that video out on social media. It helps us continue to grow. And I just want to thank, say thank you so much for that. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks. And remember, any of the stocks that I show in these videos is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence and decide whether or not these stocks fit you personally. Remember, it is never, ever a good idea to blindly follow anyone else's stock pick. You need to understand the why and plan your trading carefully. Let's take a look at a stock that I've been keeping a close eye on. We made some really good money on this, um, trading FCX back here. Beautiful run up in this chart. And now I'm seeing FCX really setting up in here, but there is a complication that we're going to have to deal with, and that is these earnings coming out on the 22nd. Watch that carefully. FCX, uh, pretty decent looking chart. As you can see, I placed an alert. This pink line is an alert. Crossed over that on Friday. I'm not in this trade yet. I'm going to watch this carefully. And that, uh, honestly, those earnings really do concern me. But let's watch this in here as we slide over toward this trend. There may be an opportunity coming here in FCX. And that being said, let's take a look at GLD. GLD has been struggling along here. It pulled back far more than I would have expected in a season where we're just printing money so quickly. It's unbelievable. Um, and devaluing our dollar. Keep an eye on this. Um, GLD trying to break back above a downtrend. Notice we get this little uptrend going on. Gold, if we start to feel that uncertainty of coronavirus impacts and things coming into the market and another two trillion dollar printing package we could see gold perk up here take a look at it right now it's trying to lift up just a little bit if we can break through back above that uh, price support and hold up here there may be some upside opportunity coming in gold watch that closely now silver on the other hand uh, struggling maybe just a tiny little bit um, with a high in whoops wrong chart there we go struggling just a little bit more with this downtrend and these um, resistance uh, levels in the chart but it could also come back around should um, we continue to print at these unbelievable levels that we're printing. Um, watch that closely. Um, silver could come back up. Let's take a look at some other star stocks that are really kind of interesting. Been keeping an eye here on Ford. Ford coming up pretty strongly here and we're working to deal with some resistance in the chart. Could this be coming back around? Maybe so. Keep in mind it's got earnings coming up here on the 28th and that's going to be a theme that we're going to see here over the next few weeks. Just a ton of earnings on the way. So watch that carefully. This could rally in anticipation of that earnings event. 
lots of this resistance is starting to break down here in that chart keep an eye on that general motors is another one you're going to want to keep an eye on and i mentioned this one last week um breaking through this resistance area in the chart holding it as support and then off to the races it went that pink line there is my alert on that trade looking pretty good now i still have to point out that we have significant resistance in this chart above so keep that in mind uh, we don't have a free clear free and clear method to the upside here but it is certainly starting to perk up might want to also start keeping an eye on stocks like coca-cola coke trying to move up once again going to report on 1022 but keep an eye on that trying to lift back up some of these old defensive companies trying to come back around show a little bit of strength let's keep an eye on that pepsico pepsico has been the stronger of the two beverage companies out there pushing up and what i like about this chart is that we broke through this bigger resistance notice we pushed on through and now we're pulling back into this trend keep an eye on this little resistance level right here but pepsico could be setting up at any time for that next leg on up to break through here and to push on out so keep a close eye on PepsiCo. Other stocks um, that are really looking pretty gar darn good, take a look at Darden, DRI. Now DRI had a little bit of a selling wave coming in, pulled back and it, this has that problem here where we could either pop above and get bullish again or we could fail. So a possible short could be setting up here as well. Keep an eye on that been trying really really hard it's kind of difficult to see restaurants doing really really well in corona land but um, watch that closely um, other places you might go um, to um, look for stocks is take a look at tol toll brothers holding up very very nicely in a tight consolidation here notice we've got blue skies just about to be broken through in this chart if we could break through that level we could have blue skies above so watch toll as we continue to consolidate in this little tightening consolidation that possibility that it may perk up and pop on out of there um, looking quite good keep an eye on some of these retailers that have been very very strong lb pushing on through my alert here it does have some downtrend here that we're trying to overcome in this chart but keep an eye on this as we hold in this area a lot of these um, retail stocks starting to show plenty of bullishness overall take a look at walmart for example walmart moving up crawling up this trend it's still got a little consolidating possibly that it may have to do coming out here toward this trend before it goes on higher but keep an eye on that 11 12 is the earnings report for that there's tons and tons of stocks that could be setting up and as we have this wild-eyed bullishness going on in the market this huge speculation um, we have to be really really careful not to over trade it's very very easy to get all cranked up and feeling that urgency that we have to rush or we're going to miss out guard yourself against that carefully plan your trading very carefully make sure you're taking low risk entry trades not chasing stocks that are pushing toward resistance levels everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day have a great one i won't be around most of the day today i've got to go speak to a surgeon today a consultation for a surgeon so not the funnest day for me but i will see you all right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Take care, be safe out there, and we'll talk to you all very, very soon.